morning everybody i have not done a conscious coffee at a normal coffee hour forever when i got conscious coffee started a few years back overcoming a hurdle of doing live streams and getting comfortable on the other side of this little screen i decided that i was going to do conscious coffee at 6 a.m every single day and i did that oh, i better silence my phone that's what i better do um there we go. And I did that for quite a few months, um, a couple Christmases ago, because I made the commitment in the month of December to get over the hurdle of live streams. And here I am this morning sitting here and I was, I was actually laying in bed doing my morning meditation and just kind of breathing into my body and going, okay, let's do this thing. Let's get up. Let's, you know, and I was thinking of the list that I had created myself and I was like, yeah, like what did, what, what did my boss give me to do today? And my boss being me, you know, I kind of chuckled at myself as if I could get in trouble. I probably would get more in trouble with myself than, than with an actual boss. But I was just like, yeah, you know, like what, what have I given my, what tasks have I given myself to do today? And I realized that that's such a fuck yes lifestyle statement right there. And, you know, yeah, there's still the list of things, you know, to do. There's still all this different stuff. But for me, my fuck yes lifestyle is about freedom and choice. It's about challenging myself to grow, challenging myself to create, looking at what my followers, what my clients are needing in their lives, in their practices, you know, in their relationships, and then challenging myself to create for them. My fuck yes life is about really truly, I would say at its core, the one word, if I had to sum up, hey Kendall, what does fuck yes life mean to you? And I would say freedom. It's all about freedom. So I ask you today, you know, and if you catch this on a replay, because I'm going much earlier than what I normally do, or if you're a person that's just popping by, what does fuck yes life mean to you? Can you pop that off in the comments? Just the one word, sum it up in one word. What does fuck yes life mean to you? Like, what would it be your ideal if you had to sum that up? You know, like what makes your life go, fuck yes, I love my life. This is amazing. This is what, this is what living is all about. What's that one word? Mine's freedom. Mine's freedom. So feel free to steal that. That freedom is yours. I think that freedom is at the core of almost all of our goals, all of our desires. If you think about it, we say, I want, I want money. That's a big one, right? Although everybody wants more money in the bank, more money in the bank, more money in the bank. And, and heck, you know, we, what, there's nothing wrong with that because when we don't have enough money in the bank, when we are not living from a state of abundance, and then we're living from a state of scarcity, and that keeps us so small. It's not about what you can buy, but it's about the freedom that you have to be able to do what you know that you are called to do. And that's what money gives to us, right? Money gives us that. Now, granted, money can provide us with the house, the car, you know, the experiences, the material items that we want, uh, education, training, all this different stuff. But that's all part of that, the ultimate experience of having the freedom to do, to have, to experience. Where when we live from that state of scarcity, we don't have that choice, do we? And I don't know about you. I think choice is a pretty important thing. I think that we need to be able to, that we were, we were designed, we were born to live a life where we, hey, morning Pam, we were designed, we were born to live a life that we, we were making the decisions. We are choosing our path. We are, are fully in, embodied in self and that it's okay to experience, to feel, to desire, to do the things that really call our hearts and souls. But for the majority of people out there, that's not true, right? It's just not true. There's the existing 
the existing, which is why I always end my everything with stop existing, start living. Because to me, that's what fuck yes life is. It's not existing. It's not just, just walking around and being a zombie through your life. You know, the, the walking dead is what I really feel. I look out into the world and I, I look at the, the populations and, you know, and I just go, wow, there's just so many dead people around here. Like they're, they might be breathing. They might be moving. They might be going to work. They might have children. They might be on a date. They might be, you know, going through the motions of life, but they're not really living. Like there's just this deadness coming from them. There's not soul alignment. There's no turn on. There's no passion. There's the joy of of life just isn't there. I really think that that's that to me that that's this one of the saddest things to witness is beautiful people not really truly living, you know, not really truly experiencing this life that we have. But freedom provides us that, right? Freedom gives us the ability to to live. It gives us the ability to live. But life really isn't that fun if we don't have challenges like we by nature love to be challenged yesterday yesterday I was talking to a beautiful coach who I look forward to potentially working with morning Randall who I look for um, forward to working with over the course of this year she's a she's a health nutritional yoga coach and instructor here in the DFW area beautiful soul that I have Kind of had my eye on for, gosh, probably six or seven, probably like seven years, maybe longer. And that she has been floating around my energy scope, you could say. And I was taking one of her yoga classes a couple weeks ago when I was just like, this woman is fucking amazing. She is so amazing. She is such a powerhouse of just, oh, yeah. Like, I was just like, yeah. So... After class, I went to her. I was like, "Hey, girl, we need to we need to sit down. Like, I really think that there's some potential here." So we had um, morning, Patrick. We had um, tea yesterday, and she said to me, "You know, on the topic of fuck yes, it was just that." She's like, "Yeah, it's it's about freedom and it's about challenge. I need to be challenged." And I thought that's such a beautiful point because without the challenge, we're bored. And boredom is, is is just the reverse side of peace. I mean, I love to be in peace, but peace is also boring. It is. When we are in a state of peace, it's like there ain't nothing much going on, right? We need our drama. We need excitement. We need to be challenged and we, we're problem solvers by nature. So when we are in a state of peace, it's only natural that we get bored and then create problems to solve because that's us as beautiful human beings. So complex and so silly in our ways of not being able to just really embrace the peace. But here's the thing, that boredom also births desire. And that is what a challenge is. Challenges get us to desire something more. Challenges make us yearn to pull out all of this yummy good stuff inside of ourselves and to go, no, like, I can have that. I can fix this. I can do that. I will show the world. I will show so-and-so how, how fucking amazing I am, that I got this, that I can do it. So challenge. Challenge is a big one, right? In the fuck yes living aspect of things, we need to be challenged. Anybody who is searching for peace, you find peace and you quickly get bored with it. So it's like, you can go searching for it, experience it, but realize, realize that your nature is creation. And creation is just another word for solving life's challenges. Uh, you know, that's what we do. We create to solve. And when we don't have something to solve, we create the problem to solve the challenge around that, right? Because that's where our passion is. That's where we get joy. That's where we get turned on. Have you ever seen somebody who, or maybe you've done it yourself, where 
there's not much going on and then all of a sudden some drama hits or as a problem happens and they're like, oh, I gotta tell you about this. This happened and they get all into it. Like you can just feel them living what the, this this traumatic or dramatic event and they're just really into you know like way down there and they're just like yes 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 and it could be the most tragic event that they're sharing with you but there's total ecstasy on their face they're just like yeah they're lit up they're glowing they're excited they're turned on to life and it's like and you might even be right there in in the you know in, in it with them and going just like wow yeah 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 you get caught up in that because there is an energy of creation in it. There is this energy of connection and creation in whatever that might be. Because you see, there's no such thing as good and bad in this world. It's how we choose to perceive it. It's really, truly just how we choose to perceive it. Everything is moving us forward. Everything is bringing us into a new part of ourselves. It is the birthing process or the unveiling process of who we truly are. So if you start to look at even the challenges as something that is like that, it doesn't mean that you can't go, that really makes me mad. That really makes me sad. I'm really hurt by that. I need to mourn this. You know, I'm afraid. All of those emotions are beautiful and perfect. And they are, you know, actually required for you to be able to really truly experience and embody yourself and to experience life. But I can tell you that when you, if you can access that turn on without having to go into the lower frequency emotions, which means the fear, the scarcity, the sadness, the anger, or the flip side as we move up that channel to boredom, right? Like let's let's create without having to go into the land of boredom to create a problem. Let's create just from this space before we have this avalanche of other stuff that is going to bog us down and pull us this direction because it's a lot harder to get out from underneath the avalanche of negativity than to be on top of the avalanche and learn how to ski through the beauty and to be able to see it from a higher perspective. So are we on top of it or are we below it? This is a decision that we make by where we choose to pick it up and create from. So if you got a lot of shit in your life right now and you're just like struggling, you're, you know, hustling with the holiday season, you're you're moving through all this stuff. Hey, morning, James. You're moving through all the stuff where it's just like really, really tough. And you're like, yeah, but how do I get out of this misery, this suffering, this stress, this overwhelm, anxiety that I'm having to be able to create from a good space? How do I do that? Well, just pick one thing. One thing in your life that you can just slow the fuck down around and you can go, all right, I can breathe in right here. I can focus in right here and just go and I can start to see how this, this, this challenge right here, what's the good things that can come from this challenge? Oh, the good things that can come from this challenge are, okay, and start looking at the reverse side of the coin because I guarantee you, no matter what your issue is, no matter what the challenge is, no matter how big and exhausting it might appear to be, you are looking at it from the underside of the coin instead of the upper side of the coin. And if you flip to the opposite thinking of what is going on, you will slowly, although it can be like this, you will bring yourself to the top side of the coin and then you will learn how to ski versus getting overtaken by the avalanche. But you've got to bring your attention to the more positive effects of any challenge in your life to be able to get on top of it. And then from there, you birth creative thought. This is where you go into conscious creative thought, okay? And this is where you start to go, what do I desire? What is it that I do want in my life? Where are my opportunities? Where are my potentials? Oh, I feel a little bit of fear over here, but does that, is it dangerous? Because there's a difference between fear and danger, right? Danger is like standing in front of an oncoming train and not moving. That's dangerous. Crossing a busy intersection at rush hour where the cars are going like that and you think that you can run through the traffic because you're all of a sudden, you know, some super human person. That's dangerous. 
Fear. Fear is an emotion that rises up that makes us believe that there is something dangerous there, that we are, that we could end ourselves in some fashion, right? That we could end ourselves, but actually, probably like 90% of the time, it's not actually dangerous. There's nothing there. And it's just pushing up against our own walls, our own container that we have ourselves in. And if you're like the majority of the people out there, guess what? You probably got yourself in a pretty fucking small container. And part of the reason why you're feeling so overwhelmed, so anxiety, so bored, so frustrated is because you've outgrown your box. You've outgrown your box and you need breathing room. You need a taste of freedom. You need challenge in a positive fashion. You need to be the creator that you were born to be. And the thing that you're creating is this life of yours. It's this life. It's not anything else. You're not creating John's life down the street or your kid's life or your partner's life or your sister, your brother, or, or even the CEO of your business. You're not, none of them matter. And I know that might be hard to understand because you love your children, you love your family, you love your partners, right? But they don't fucking matter. The only person in your life that you are creating for at the end of the day is you. Anything else ripples out and will impact others, yes. So ask yourself just on that note, how do I want to impact my children, my spouse, Morning Craig, how do I want to impact my children, my spouse? How do I want to impact this world, my friends? Because I get to make the decision, right? I get to make the choice as to how I impact. So do I impact from underneath the avalanche or do I impact from, from skiing on top and from conscious creation zone, from a turned on state, from that place of freedom where I'm consciously creating my own challenges, which are positive challenges. And yes, that's scary because there's adrenaline rush to our creative flow. There is adrenaline rush to our expansion, to stepping out of the box that we have ourselves in. There is an adrenaline rush and that we also resonate with fear. We go, oh, that feels, whoo, that's kind of scary. That's kind of scary. Much like this beautiful coach that I was talking to yesterday, you know, she, she shared that she was just, it was, it was a lot. She's like, that's a lot. And it's, it's kind of scary. Like I kind of have a little bit of fear around that, but I also saw this ignition in her face. She just ignited the light. It was like, it was like she had flashlights behind her eyeballs and she was just like, yes. 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 And it was a beautiful, beautiful witnessing of somebody's soul just kind of going, Oh, here I am. Oh my God. Somebody sees me. Somebody recognizes my potential. Somebody sees my power. Somebody, somebody can see what my, my soul wants. And I was like, yeah, fuck yeah, girl. Like you got this shit going on and let's, let's take you to, let's take you out there to the world. Let's get you out there. So you're probably going to be seeing her. I hope we'll be talking more in the future, but I know that she has a beautiful, beautiful message to share and some very powerful coaching to provide many, many people in this world. So I want to be able to, you know, like support and, and just help nurture that and get her ass out there where, where it needs to be just changing the world by her experiencing her own freedom, her own creative flow, her own juiciness to this life where she can really, really create from. But I ask you today, I ask you today, and you know, that's what Conscious Coffee is about. It's like my, it's my give back, right? Is to try to every day show up and provide, provide these little, what I call Conscious Coffee thoughts, right? But I re remember there was a show back in, I'm going to tell my age here, but I, there was a show, I think it was in the 80s. And I remember... As a kid, my, my mom and dad listening to it, and it was like deep thoughts with somebody. I don't remember who the dude was. I think it was a guy. And deep thoughts. And I just always, every time I'm like, that's what conscious coffee is to me. It's like deep thoughts. Well, it's, it's coaching. It's my share. It's my give back. It's my ass kickery as it goes on my calendar as it, I have every more, every day on here, ass kickery video. It's also my promotion for who I am, my coaching, my business. It's my piece of work that I commit to every day to bring myself to you guys, to help those that can't afford me or aren't quite ready yet, and to 
to, you know, to provide that, to support those that I'm working with and to reach out to those who don't know yet what is their potential is and are like, hey, should I work with her or not? That's what Conscious Coffee is about. And I ask you, like, I mean, this is my challenge to myself, right? Conscious Coffee helps me create a space of freedom. It helps me create a state of that fuck yes life. And I thrive in it and I love it and I look forward to it and it is playful and I get to just be raw and real and like really seriously, I just got out of bed not, you know, 15, 20 minutes ago, right before I started this, I threw my clothes on, made my bed, brushed my teeth, came out here, got a cup of coffee. I was like, what am I talking about today, God? And typed up the title and sat down and I was like, all right, let's go. Let's do this, you know? And I'm heading out as soon as this, I'm off to yoga and then I'm off to Everything else that I have scheduled and beautiful people to, to me. Oh, my screen just went blue and gave me some funky color there. Um, so I ask you, what, what does fuck yes mean to you? What is the one word? If you sum it up. Now I said my word was freedom, right? What does fuck yes life mean to you in one word? Please put that in the comment section. If you catch it on the replay, if you're catching it right now, stick it in there. Come on, have some balls and put it in the comments. This is one word, okay? We're not talking about sex. We're not talking about we're politics. We're not talking about what's going on with Trump's impeachment or anything like that. We're not talking about any of that stuff. We're talking about is like, what does fuck yes life mean to you? What is the one word that sums it up for you? Type that, put that in the comment section. And then I want you to think today as you as you move through the day, I want you to think about like, how am I creating in my life? Am I creating juicy, you know, adventures for myself? Am I creating a space of joy, of, of, of love, of connection? Am I expanding myself? Am I looking at my container and going, yeah, I see my container. I feel it. And I want to push out a little bit. I want to expand out a little bit because I know that there's so much inside of me in all these different ways that I haven't touched for years or maybe never before. And I want to see myself fully. I want the people in my world to see me fully. I want a full expression of myself. Or are you looking at your container and going, fuck no, I'm going to just sit right here and I'm comfortable in my misery. I'm comfortable in my suffering. I'm comfortable in my boredom and in what I have just been unconsciously creating, problem solving through life. Okay, remember that you get to choose. Do you want to problem solve from underneath the avalanche or do you want to create, which is problem solving on the positive, from on top where you are skiing and going the direction that you want and have a beautiful vision of your life, of your goals, of your dreams? Which side do you want to be creating from? I want you really truly to think about that today. I want you really to just examine that, allow that to really just get down in you and see what it bursts as you move into the weekend, into Christmas next week and into the beginning of a new year, a new decade, because that's what we got coming on in the next, in the next less than two weeks, what, 11 days from now, we enter a new decade we enter a new year what do you want for 2020 what do you want what what is those those desires those passions so feel free to share any of that of course with me privately in the comment section you know a lot of the times our biggest amount of growth is being witnessed and it's one of the hardest things to do is to witness and to be witness to allow that vulnerability to be seen and to put our desires our goals out there for others to see but I can tell you that even if it's just a private share, make use of that. Maybe not with me, maybe with a friend, but get those things out there. Get them out there. State your desires for 2020. Who do you want to be in 2020? Of course, here goes the promo. Here goes the promo. Like I told you already, what is conscious coffee to Kendall? It's my gift back, but it's also my promo, right? For my services. This is a tip of the iceberg. Of coaching we can go far deeper we can go in there and we can really create that perfect 2020 for you well, that's gonna require you to reach out to me that's gonna require you to get out of this little box I promise that I'm not a train billowing down you know the tracks I'm gonna run you over but I will blow your fucking mind 
and what you can have and who you can be in, in everything, morning as and in everything that that you are. So let's open up that container called you and let's see what's in there. Reach out to me for one-on-one. -on -one. Reach out to me and check out and see, hey, what you got going on for group, for online. I work with people all over the world. I got some amazing workshops coming up for January and February and throughout the rest of 2020. I got you guys. Like there's going to be some absolutely fucking amazing things in all areas of your life. So reach out to me. Ask me what's going on. Go on my calendar. Check and see what's going on there. You know, it's at kendallwilliams.com on the events tab. And here's the most beautiful thing. And we and only six more days left to this promotion. Six more days. Some of you have taken advantage of this. The rest of you are being stupid. But, you know, whatever. Stupid is as stupid does. And I'm just going to tell you, you're being absolutely stupid on this. Because I've got the promo of a lifetime. I can't even believe that I did it. But that's just the way I roll. Is When my soul says, go do this, I just do this. I know Addison looked at me funny when I was like, this is what I'm going to do, girl. And she was like, okay. <laughs> you do you but what, what I've got is 80% off and I've created these bundles so I've got the fucking awesome goddess bundle for 2020 this is for all you ladies who want to manifest your my manifest your man programs in there my unstoppable program the unstoppable program alone is worth almost $700 it is 12 intensive weeks of deep dive of becoming your unstoppable power like there is a lot of shit in there okay and then there's the manifest your man that I created which is it really like you want to you want to call in your soulmate you want to like really truly tap in understand men a little bit better understand your sultriness get really into it all right well that's manifest your man that's what's going on there there is you know the fuckiest life there's there's uh you know like i got my boot camp in there as to how do you how do you do it like what the heck do you do to keep your life flowing in flow where we've got business and we got spirit and we got relationship and maybe we're building a business and we got our health and we got all this stuff how the fuck do you do all that stuff right well that's also in there i mean this it's an amazing amazing bundle for you, for all ladies out there and then i've got the be the fucking man bundle for you guys out there. And what is that? That's like, that's teaching you about relationship. That's teaching you about your primal power. We're men today. You guys are, are so squashed. I love men. I absolutely love men. And I, I look out and all the guys that I work with, I see these beautiful souls coming in and they are just, you know, I just feel like they've just been kicked down by life kicked down by what they think they need to be in today's world and they've lost their primal power they've lost who they are and guess what's going on us women don't respect them they don't respect themselves life is not respecting them and they need to just tap in and dig down and go yeah yeah so that's what's in here i was like there is tantric skills in here understanding women relationship stuff tapping in again to your fuck yes life tapping into your power it's all built for you men to really truly become a divine masculine strong confident powerful loving open expanded masculine for 2020 eight home study programs in the goddess one and eight home study programs in the be your man and then of course i've got also the the um one for all of you entrepreneurs out there this one has five courses in it and this is how you basically take your business and you know i know i have a lot of people that are in different mlm um groups that are you know making jewelry and doing coaching and therapists and educators and and you know small business owners and real estate agents and all these different people who are like yeah but how do i how do i how do i take this this thing that I'm really loving on, that I really like, I'm starting to kind of hate because I'm dying over here. I'm not really making what I know that I could be making. I'm not making enough to do this. I still have a second job. I still have my primary job, and this is my second job. But how do I make this my primary job? Well, in, in the Be Your Boss of 2020 package, you know, that bundle, I'm giving you all the steps of how to get into your soul alignment, of how to really tap in and to how to really, really expand yourself, lean in and build that business. Like, let's take you from zero to 100K, 200K, 300K, whatever that goal is, because you can get there. You can do it in 2020 if you get into alignment to it and stop doing the stinking thinking that you've been doing. Stop allowing yourself to get hung up on the hurdles that you think you have to have. Like that's just all a figment of your imagination. I can tell you that. Like I've been through lots of hurdles and lots of that shit 
and it really doesn't have to be that hard. So that bundle's there. Did you see? This is all 80% off. So here's the thing. It's all just $197. Each bundle, whether it's it's the women's, the men's, or the entrepreneur, it's $197. Some of those bundles, if you were to if you wait until the 27th of this month to buy, you'll if you went back to buy them, it would cost you $1,800 to buy all of them. So I'm giving a massive fucking deal here. Don't be stupid like some people are. Be smart like some people are. All those people that are getting their shit together that are going to make 2020 absolutely fucking amazing and go and buy the bundle. The link is in the comment section. So I expect to see like a massive blow up of that going on. And then guess what? You do that, you can reach out to me. You got some trouble, you got something going on, you don't understand that you, something that you're learning in there. Well, message me. You got me right here. You got my email probably after that. So let's let's connect. Let's get you taking 2020 by storm. Okay, guys? As always, I love you guys. Have an amazing, amazing Friday. I know that I am. I am off to yoga. And I will catch you tomorrow with another conscious coffee. I love you guys. Stop existing. Start living. What really, truly ask yourself. What does fuck yes life mean to me? One word. Put it in the comment section. Love you guys.